What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict, bringing my top picks for Thursday's main DraftKings slate. All right, guys, so we got us a nice little juicy slate for tomorrow, guys, a little small uh, uh, combo, you know, $5 uh, uh, a meal deal. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six games on the slate today, guys. All right. Got some teams that's tanking, and we got some teams that's still in the fight, guys. So, uh, you know, hey, man, this is the, the home stretch of the NBA season, guys. So um, as the season goes on, it's going to get harder and harder to predict, you know, who's going to play, you know, which teams are going to fight to the end and which teams are going to give it up and throw in their they benches, man, you know. So, hey, uh, today's slate, you know, if you played my picks in the video, most of the video uh, picks hit, but there's a lot of teams that got blew out today. A couple of misses. ABC went out. You know, hey, guys, you know, hey. That happens, man. It's, dra it's, you know, it's DFS, guys. You know, I, I, if ABC plays the second half, maybe he gets a 60 DraftKings points, man. But, you know, he doesn't even come in the second half. So, hey, he's a bust, you know. So that's why I always preach bank role management, guys. All right. So let's get into today's picks. All right. So first off, guys, I'm going to pretty much make this like my bargain bin. So these are all the lower price guys that I'm going to be starting my lineups off with tomorrow. Now, as you can see on the screen, there's a couple options if you want to pay up. All right. You know, you got AD, you got Harden, you got uh, Joel Embiid, you got Ben Simmons, you got Griffin. You got a couple options up top, guys. So, as you see, the two top top tier guys are going to be Harden or Davis, guys. So, which one do you pick? So, to me, it depends on is Chris Paul playing or not. If Chris Paul is out, I'm locking in Harden, guys. There's no way you don't play Harden with Chris Paul out, okay? And Eric Gordon. All right, don't forget about that guy. All right, so, but AD, he's a lock against uh, Los Angeles Lakers as well, guys. You know, look at it. He put up, he averages 71 DraftKings points versus the team, guys. All right, so I say if you could find a way to put both of them in your lineup, make it happen, guys. You should be able to find some some value on this uh, slate. A lot of teams with a lot of lower price guys playing and playing heavy minutes, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the, with the picks that I like for the day, guys. So, all right, first up, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this guy here, man. He's been hot lately. Dwayne Deadman. All right. So if you look at his game log, guys, he put up 30 DraftKings points versus Milwaukee in 31 minutes. Then he put up 46 versus uh, Utah. A 15 and 15, man. Okay. And this is Sacramento. In Sacramento, you love to attack them at the center position, guys. You look at defense versus position, you know, Sacramento. There you go. All right. Well, actually, you want to go down here to ATL. So, they're giving up around 49 to 46 DraftKings points to the power forward slash center, guys. All right? Not the best matchup on the slate, but a good matchup because you want to attack them at the center roll. And this is over the last, four, uh, last week, I mean, okay? All right, guys. So, I like Dwayne Dedman for the cheap 5.6K versus Sacramento. All right? Next up, another player I like again. Getting heavy minutes here recently. And his price point hadn't caught up to it yet. And that'd be uh, Mr. Check Diallo. All right. This team is playing like that fourth game in five nights or some crap. They pretty much they've had a lot of games over the last couple of days. And so I like Check Diallo again, you know, to come in off the bench, play 25 minutes, give you about 30 DraftKings points. So for a guy that's 3.8K, man, we love it. All right. Last time these two teams met, he played 11 minutes and put up 16 DraftKings points. So if he plays his regular 24, 25 minutes, he should be able to put up about 35 for you guys, all right? So I like Chick Diallo for the cheap, all right? Another play, guys, this guy's been a, been a lock since uh, his uh, the person that started before him went out. That would be Jeremy Lamb, guys, all right? So in this matchup versus Memphis, he's played them once before, played 30 minutes, pretty much put up 30 DraftKings points. So, all right, I like Lamb to repeat this. Again, he should be heavily owned because, again, Everybody's playing them with uh, Batum um, out, so um, I'm going back to Lamb. I think his price still hadn't hadn't caught up, but I don't think his price is too high. All right, he's still a good play for cash. Locked in for the minutes, too, all right, and they're back at home. All right, so I like Lamb. Another player that I like that's in a favorable matchup is KCP, Mr. Caldwell Pope. All right, so this is going to be the game that I'm going to be targeting, guys. I'm going to be honest, man. I was going through and doing my research, and it seemed like every time I was going into each position trying to see which player I wanted to lock in on, it was a damn New Orleans player, all right, playing against Los Angeles. All right, guys, this, this game right here is going to be be fire. But I like KCP 
versus this team. All right, guys. All right. So he's averaging somewhere around 35 minutes or so. And he's playing and putting up about 30 DraftKings points, give or take, guys. You see he had a couple of games where he only put up 26 to 23. So the question is, is that three ball dropping, you know, or not? All right, guys. So I like him in this matchup against New Orleans. Should be a knockdown, drag out fight. So, hey, locking in KCP. They short on guards. You know, they got a couple of guards that are hurt. And I like him and Kuzma, guys. But I'm going with KCP. All right. Just my gut, okay? All right. And that's four plays in my last and final play. Again, I like this guy. They're at home, and they're playing against a tough team. That would be the Utah Jazz, right? But I like J.J., man. J.J. just a little firecracker, man. I don't know what to say about this guy. All right? He's averaging around 25 DraftKings points. Got a little bit of upside, guys, you know, for about 30-something. So he's getting more minutes. And, you know, I like him, guys. If you can get that three ball dropping. You know, get get those assists, drop drop double digit downs, maybe get us a nice double double, guys. But I like JJ Bray in this spot, all right, versus Utah, guys. And if you look at the DVP, when it comes to Dallas, right here, you want to attack them at the point guard or shooting guard, all right. That's where they're weak at. So that's why I'm attacking. All right, guys. All right, cool, cool. All right, so that's my top five plays right now, guys. As you can see. It leaves you around 7700 for each spot. So you should be able to pay up for a stud or a stud and a half. So, like, let's say, you know, for instance, like I said, I, I, I'll be honest, I love Anthony Davis as my stud to pay up for. And that still leaves you 5700 at each spot. So where would you want to spend that at? Um, some of the plays that I like, personally, um, I like Blake Griffin. I like Ricky Rubio. You know, um, like I said, I already said I love Harden. Ooh, this guy right here is another cheap guy that's been doing pretty good. Malik Monk, all right, if you look at his game logs, he's been getting around 20 draft king points on the 15 to 20 minutes, you know. But, again, I like them versus Memphis, and, uh, all right. I like him for a value play. Another player I like, all right, guys, this guy's healthy. I'm locking him in as well. Brooke Lopez has been on fire lately, guys, all right. 40, 31, 41, all right. So if this guy's healthy, he has some kind of issue with his picks or something no it's back and he's listed as probable which means he should play on on tomorrow guys so i like him i like him he only played 17 minutes the last couple of times these two teams met and he put up 17 draft kings points so if you look at his minutes log he's been playing around 36 though so um i like him for about 35 to 40 so all right i like brooke lopez as well so let's say we like him brooke lopez that still gives us 4800 for a guard all right and we got options at the guard spot uh for value guys so all right, well, you guys can kind of see how the roster construction can come about, okay? All right, so good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. Like I said, my top plays, I like it right here on the screen, guys. So, all right, good luck on tomorrow's slates, guys. All right, before I go and get out of here, I want to talk to you guys about this uh, draft dashboard. All right, guys, so again, I use this to go ahead and kind of find my favorite plays. What I do is I just go in here and click on top plays for the day. Um, right here, as you can see, I had it sorted by the uh, – I originally had it sorted by the value. So I can look for some good value plays. But as you can see right here at the top, you got Rondo. You know, you got Miritic, which is, again, who, another player that I like in that New Orleans game. All right, Anthony Davis right here. Dennis Schroeder. They go Dwayne De Deadman. So as you guys can see, um, it, it, it gives you some good good places to go. All right, guys. All right, lots of information on the screen. But uh, check out the description and the link, guys. Check it out. Seven-day trial, $1. You like it, keep your subscription if you hate it. Cancel. You only had a dollar. But again, guys, I think you're going to love it. All right. So, all right. Good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. And I'll holler at you guys tomorrow, man. All right. MLB is just around the corner.